Hi, my name is Brian. I'm with Lalaman Brewing, and I'm here today to talk about the differences between Philly Sour and Sour VCA. These are the two acid producing yeasts that we manufacture here at Lalaman. And uh, I just want to have a quick chat about why you might choose one over the other. First off, we'll talk about the Philly Sour. This is a non sac strain. This is a Lysantia strain, and it is a different animal than you might be used to brewing with in the fact that it takes a little bit of time, seven to 10 days to fully ferment a batch out. And you're going to see a lag there for two or three days, which may strike fear into the hearts of uh, really any brewer out there. Don't freak out. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. It's creating a TA, mostly lactic acid. There's a touch of acetic in there. And then it's gonna get into ethanol production. That in turn will give you a flavorful sour beer somewhere in the three, four to three, eight range. For Philly Sour, one of the ways that you can impact acid production is adjust the amount of glucose in your mash at the upfront. And the easiest way to do this is just with a simple dextrose addition. So what this will do is it will lower the pH slightly. So that's one way that you can manipulate the pH of a Philly Sour. Sour VCA, on the other hand, is a Saccharomyces Sour VCA strain that we've gone in and it's our first and only GMO strain but we've gone in and flicked the switch to where it produces straight lactic acid in tandem with ethanol at the same time. So a cleaner ferment, it'll follow your standard fermentation curve, so three to five days. Uh, if you don't watch it and you produce something of too high alcohol, you can produce something that is very acidic. I mean, I've had beers get down below three before with this strain. So great for downstream blending. Uh, if you wanna do something to a big alcohol uh, and you don't want that much uh, lactic acid, you can always co-pitch, use our Nottingham or any, of, uh, any other house strain that you might uh, have. 50-50 or so, and that'll keep you within that, that three, five range. So there it is, Philly Sour versus Sour VCA.